हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दिस एम एस सी फिजिक्स फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर लैब एंड इन दिस लेबोरेटरी वी वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस यू वेरियस टाइप ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट्स विच आर यूजफुल टू अंडरस्टैंड द अंडरलाइंग फिजिक्स एंड टू हैव ए प्रैक्टिकल डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑफ द इवेंट्स विच वी विल स्टडी इन आवर थ्योरी सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट एक्सपेरिमेंट विच इज द फोर प्रोब एक्सपेरिमेंट the aim of this experiment is to find out the energy band gap of uh, the semiconductor material by using the four probe method so as the name indicates that we are interested to find out the band gap of the semiconductor material uh, the semiconductor material can be germanium or silicon basically this will be a thin specimen and we can apply this four probe method to find out uh, the resistivity as well as the band gap of this material so i am going to demonstrate you that how you will do all this stuff in your experiment let me introduce the various uh, instruments in this case so we have this uh, kit which is uh, the four probe setup and the this is an oven which contains our crystal and the crystal is connected to the four probes basically what will happen that for example if you have this crystal like this then the four probes are resting on it uh, so the two will be for passing the current and two probes uh, through two probes we would like to measure the voltage across them okay so let's uh, have a quick quick look at the crystal so what i am going to do i am going to take it out from here to demonstrate you that what is inside okay so if you look into this oven we can increase the temperature of the crystal in this case okay in this oven okay now the second part which i would like to introduce is this one okay let me bring it closer to you so that you have a closer look at this uh, um, specimen which is there okay so what i am going to do here you see here okay there are basically the four probes which i am talking about okay here you have the four probes four pins basically and this is the specimen which is the uh, germanium or silicon in this case okay we have taken the silicon specimen uh, and then the the two probes are used for the current and two for the voltage in this case now what i will do that i would like to put it back into the setup and try to demonstrate that what is happening with this uh, setup L let's uh, have a quick look at uh, this uh, setup here what what type of the things do we have uh, if you look into this portion then you have some connections so this uh, this connection goes directly to the o1 in this case no and the second connection which is there that goes to the crystal in this case so basically your your uh, crystal will be uh, connected with the help of this one okay and then the four probes which are there uh, these are the uh, voltage terminal and these are the current terminals okay so we are going to pass the current through the semiconductor material and we are going to measure the voltage across them okay so now what we will do that we will try to we will switch on this experiment by this knob okay i hope that all of the other components are quite obvious in this case no let me again have a look at it so you have this knob with the help of this knob what you will do that if you put it in, in this uh, condition then it will give you the uh, current and if you toggle it in that case it will give you the voltage value in this case and the current and the voltage values will be displayed on this setup in this case no so you would have this uh, millivolt and milliamps so the two scales are there okay let me have a quick uh, bit better zoom of this okay okay here yeah. so you would have the voltage and then you have the current we will fix the value of the current and note down the voltage of the current uh, voltage values from this display on the other hand you have the second one this uh, uh, meter what it will do that when you toggle the switch in that case uh, it will be switched on 
and your oven will get a temperature which you set from this uh, knob. Okay, so what you can do that with the help of this knob you can set the temperature value, and then uh, when you switch it on, at that time the temperature value of this uh, crystal that will keep on increasing, and that will uh, you can also note down the values of the voltage in this case. So, so I will what I will do that I will switch on the instrument. Now you can see this, and. Uh, I have this um, the value of the so what I will do that instead of having the voltage value let me toggle it to this uh, value no? let's put this value adjust the value of the current to say one one milliamps okay? okay so we have this value which I would like to adjust to one milliamps no? so this is the value which uh, we have adjusted to 1 milliamps. No? Let's uh, note down the corresponding value of the voltage which is there. Okay, So let me have a wider look at it. And if you look into the voltages, then you would have this uh, value of the voltage from here. Okay, So let's uh, switch it on and keep it this value. Okay, Keep this value 1 milliamps. No? Okay, I'm keeping it at uh, let's say 0 0.90 uh, milliamps, and then I'm toggling this value in this case, and having a look at this value of the voltage no, from here. No? So what we will do that we will uh, note down in our observation table what we would have. We would have the value of uh, the uh, temperature, temperature which you will note down from here. This is 300. Uh, 12 Kelvin and then you will keep on varying this set the value from here and you will set up this value to uh, let's say uh, some uh, let's say li like uh, 350 Kelvin and you will keep on that uh, the crystal will keep on heating and then your voltage values you can note down from here. So in the observation table you have only two parameters uh, your current value is fixed your uh, the thickness of the crystal is fixed by default and the distance between the probes different probes that will also be fixed in this case so now only task would be to have a look at this value which is the temperature value and this value which is the voltage values in this case okay so let's uh, have a quick look that hey, at corresponding to this 312 kelvin we are having this voltage value which is uh, 100 uh, 112.5 in this case okay so we will note down this and the observation table which we have is in terms of um, okay so we have in terms of this uh, the uh, value which we are taking into this okay so we we will what we will do that in our next video we would like to have a detailed uh, cal calculations and discussions about it no and uh, the observation that is the main aim is to demonstrate you that the you will keep on increasing the value of the temperature and note down the value of the voltage in this case okay thank you